holding a weight. I mean, what's, what's the difference so, between squatting and just like holding a weight? I mean, what? So what is going on right here is that there's resistance throughout the whole exercise here. And for example, if I had a very beginner athlete or beginner workout, okay. doesn't have very good mobility in their hips, <laughs> can't go that low, doesn't have good form, it's much better and safer to start them out here than on a squat bar with the rack. Okay. So that's orange, then we'll put some orange and blue. On there. My pants are right here coming to Taylor with me. That's what he's explaining to do. It's a little harder. So it's a very basic <laughs> exercise. Start getting some more advanced ones now. So we're going to do jumps next. This is great for vertical jump training. Jumping is also a great workout as well. So we'll have Jake get up here. We'll just do the orange. So what we usually do right here is we get into a quarter squat and we do jump strap in the air. There's a lot of resistance. Go ahead, Jake. And then a quarter squat, right back up. We'll let Jeff try. <laughs> I've survived this long without jumping. If you can increase his vertical, I'd be very impressed because it's only about a half. I'm not jumping off the ground. This is another one for her to Almost every major league baseball, uh, NBA basketball team, even Olympic athletes use this. So, Yep. Big thing is your arms. Just hold up with your arms with your legs. As you can see, if I really want Jeff to almost not get off of the platform, I will be hard on him. It looks like an excited gerbil. <laughs> Just to show you how hard it's a bail gun. It's crazy. <laughs> and then once he, we will do sets with the weight on, and then to kind of get the feeling of what it feels like once you're done, Jeff would then come off the platform and just perform a jump, and it feels like you're floating. I'm floating. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so to add on to that one, we'll now do a box jump. We have a much bigger box at the gym that I usually have Jake train on, but for Jeff and um, Brian, a little smaller. Big guy. So what Jake's going to do now is the same thing, so he'll be jumping out of the box. I'll just kind of hold it. Make sure it comes. These are box jumps. want this to be kind of high intensity, you would jump back and jump right back on for time. Just like that. Hmm. You want to try that one or not? Sure. This can only go one way. <laughs> <laughs> There's two ways this could go, I suppose. 
Maybe the church has insurance for us doing this. I am dad is going through my house. Make sure in the middle box. There you go. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> That's enough of that. So this is some stuff that we can do on the platform, and now we'll kind of transition into some stuff. Oh, we'll do one more. We'll do setups. A lot of that was jumping stuff. So now what I'll do is I'll attach these to Jake's angles. We'll put it on a very easy setting right now. And he'll kind of get up on the box with one foot and he'll do full step ups. Bands have range of motion all the way through, and resistance all the way through the step up. Right okay, we're all that stuff. Right? Hmm. <laughs> I feel like your normal senior population there. <laughs> Come in like full pants and a button down. <clears throat> The biggest thing to do right here, Jeff, is so if I'm coming up with my left leg, I want my right arm. Don't move it. Yes. I'm just saying. Doing my arm. Opposite arm, yes. It's also very good coordination. So for right there, that's the easy thing. I'll get the stands right there. I'll pull it tighter. What? <laughs> so I can adjust it to whatever level you're at. If it's too easy, we'll make it harder. If it's too hard, we'll make it easier. It's confusing. Good. Good enough. <laughs> okay, now we'll transition into stuff that we can do off of the platform. So your normal agility stuff, you're usually doing ladders, um, sprints, stuff like that. Whereas with this, we can give you a little resistance to make you faster, or to get you to make it harder. So for example, we'll hook up Jake to one of his hips. And this can go about 40 to 50 feet. We'll just do a simple side shuffle to each of the frisbees. Go ahead, Jake. Resistance all the way up. Yep. Good. We'll let Jack try it. <laughs> Once again, this can go any resistance. Yeah, Ray is just there. Yeah, so it's kind of like it's bound to happen. Yep. Great for you, athletes. Great for regular everyday people. I've trained people on this from 10 to 25 years old. So now we're going to do an even more, I guess, dangerous exercise for you. <laughs> Jake actually did this drill last night. This is just more variations we can do for it. So what Jake's going to do is he's going to put both of the gray bands on, and he's going to cross over the boxes and go out to the cone. Go ahead. Then he will sprint out, come back, come over. We have a large baseball turfed area in the back of the gym with a ton of space to do stuff like this. You want to try that one or not? Sure. <laughs> Just go very slow. No. <laughs> Good way. Like come across, come across. So shuffle across the boxes and then sprint out to the, the facility. Yes, perfect. And then you would pull you back, come back across, go back out. Perfect. You look like a, you look like a little Jersey variation to add to that drill now is Jake will go out, except when he goes out this time, he'll go out, grab one of those medicine balls, slam it down for some core work, and then come back and do the same thing going across. Now it's 45 the age limit because anyone older is going to fall. And like I said, we're doing a bunch of different drills today. I tailor it to the person. If they're very new, they absolutely pick up stop! <laughs> <laughs> That's about right though. Stir it! So next, Come on, Jake. We're gonna do... Let's pick up your game, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna regret something. Next. We're gonna do some core work now. So for 